Explore Satoshi's central route by focusing on the island of Shikoku, the smallest and least populated of Japan's four main islands. Here you will dive into the natural beauty of the Ia Valley, which has been untouched for centuries, and its dramatic solitude attracts nature lovers and adventurists from far and wide. Glide through the rugged landscape by sightseeing boat with a tour of the Aboke Gorge. Breathe in the mountain air as you are guided along the glacial waters filled with wild koi. And stop for a homegrown lunch at the restaurant of a well-known local lady. You'll be served mountain-grown vegetables, local meat tempura, along with handmade buckwheat soba noodles. And if you're lucky, you might even get a song at the end. For a quick adrenaline rush, cross the Kazura Bridge, a bridge made entirely of vines. Built by the samurai, you can follow in their footsteps as you gingerly step across the wide slats of this swaying bridge. You can stay the night in a rural Kaminka, a centuries-old traditional home that has been turned into a guest house. The experience is heightened by a home-cooked meal, typical of the Ia Valley. We had a mouth-watering shabu along with many other dishes using ingredients found in the surrounding mountains. The next morning, head to one of the oldest hot springs in Japan, Dogo Onsen. Located in the capital city of Matsuyama, this historic spa has multiple baths and several resting rooms for relaxation after your soak. Hungry yet? This island's Kagawa prefecture is known for its udon noodles, so why not learn how to make them yourself? Take a fun, interactive class at the Nakano Udon School, where you are trained how to make these noodles from start to finish. The finale, you get to eat what you made. We also visited Tamanoyu, an upscale hot spring spa. This onsen focused on luxury, and I fell in love with their outdoor hot spring tubs with views of the Seto Sea. A prime example of a Japanese traditional garden, Ritsuren Park is a must visit for a peaceful stroll in this expertly crafted natural setting. Landscaped to look like a painting, the garden's hills, bridges, promenades, ponds, and tea houses leave the visitor feeling fully surrounded by lush nature. Definitely stop for a tea at the beautiful tea house on the lake or take a boat ride if you have time. Though you can't see the real Sistine Chapel in Japan, the next best thing is found at Otsuka Museum. This museum houses more than 1,000 reproductions of the world's masterpieces all under one roof. They are perfectly crafted on ceramic panels to preserve them and to allow you to feel their greatness in person. With restaurants and a cafe, it's a fun stop for the art lover. Nearby, the Naruto Whirlpools attract visitors for a wild boat ride out to this natural phenomenon. Created by colliding currents in the Naruto Strait, these strong whirlpools are rarely seen, especially up this close. Due to all the wild indigo flowers on Shikoku Island, the popular Aizomi indigo crafts industry has really blossomed. Artisan boutiques sell the vibrant blue wares, but if you'd like to make your own, reserve some time with a craftsman to learn the intricate dyeing process and create your own indigo scarf a lovely memento of this transporting three-day adventure in Satoshi.